ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hello, this is James Spann. You clicked onto the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday morning, the 13th of May. The weather nice and cool and crisp this morning. Let's check out some Skycam shots. And hey, that's a nice picture there coming from the mighty Tennessee River. And we're getting to see some daylight early in the morning. That's the uh, view from Decatur in Morgan County. Mount Sheehaw, getting a little daylight there coming from East Alabama. That's Alabama's highest mountain just south of Anniston. And up in the Tennessee Valley, a few cars out there along Memorial Parkway this morning. We've got a ridge in place. That means another beautiful day today. Nice and sunny with temperatures up around 80. And a trough out west, and we'll be watching that. That will impact our weather greatly in coming days. Hey, this morning, nice and cool. Look at all the 40s out there. Even I had a report of uh, 39 coming from our weather watcher up at uh, Black Creek, which is northeast of Gadsden. Not many more like this before the summer gets here. Convective outlook today got a slight risk of severe weather from the Rio Grande of Texas up to uh, St. Louis. That includes Dallas, Tulsa, Little Rock, Oklahoma City, Shreveport. And tomorrow, the risk covers a large chunk of the eastern half of Texas, all of Louisiana, and parts of Mississippi and Arkansas. And the guys at Norman indicate they might upgrade a large part of that to a moderate risk. And then on day three, all of Alabama in a slight risk, along with surrounding parts of Mississippi and Georgia, all the way back into Louisiana. Rain could be pretty heavy later in the week. This is uh, suggesting rainfall amounts of two to three inches here. Uh, this is valid through Saturday evening at 7 o'clock, and I certainly concur with that. Looks like some really good rains uh, beginning Wednesday night all the way through uh, Thursday. Uh, today, no problem. We've got the ridging in place, sunny with a high of close to 80 today. Tomorrow, the trough out west begins to get closer, and uh, we've got showers and storms tomorrow that will be breaking out off to the west, and maybe some showers tomorrow afternoon up in the uh, uh, northern third of the state. This kind of suggesting a warm front there lifting from that low. So there could be a shower during the day tomorrow, uh, no doubt about that, but Thursday should be the most widespread rain day. There's a look at Thursday, and you can see a part of the trough lifts out, part of it hangs back, uh, the part lifting out will uh, result in a better dynamic lift and uh, numerous showers and thunderstorms. Now, we note there is no deep surface low on Thursday, and hopefully that will keep the helicity in check. But let's take a look at it. Here's a look at the instability values. Now, on this run, the uh, capes are not as high as recent runs. This is suggesting the instabilities will be generally less than 1,000 joules, uh, really between 500 and 1,000 there. And the uh, instability value, the uh, I'm sorry, the helicity values are still relatively high over the northern third of the state. Uh, and that could be enough for a few rotating updrafts. And uh, we just kind of watch this whole thing evolve. It's not, it doesn't look like it'll be one of those red letter days, but it could be an active day. And then Friday, the uh, surface low moves on to the east. Uh, the better and more numerous showers shifting down to the south of here. And we'll mention that in the forecast. And then Saturday, starting off the weekend, a dry northwesterly flow aloft. And that looks like a beautiful day. Mostly sunny and a bit cooler. Sunday, a deep vortex sets up over the eastern half of the country. That looks like temperatures should be cooler than normal. And little ripples are coming down the backside of that thing. In fact, the GFS even tries to hint it may be a few sprinkles over the Tennessee Valley. We're not going to mention rain in the forecast for now Sunday because the air should be very dry, but just something to watch. We'll call it partly sunny. And uh, Monday of next week looks dry, and again, temperature should be a bit below average. Uh, Tuesday of next week, still got that vortex over eastern Canada, and underneath that, some hint of a little short wave, and that looks like rain will try and develop in here, but again, confidence is low in that specific solution. Let's go out five more days, May the 26th. And now the model, this is about model madness here. For many runs, we had a summer look with the westerly shifting up on the Canadian border, and that would be warm and muggy. Well, now we've got this chilly look there at the end of the month with a big trough over the east. Uh, very chilly for the uh, Great Lakes. And then a couple of days later, the trough hangs in there with some hint of rain here. But again, confidence is very low because of uh, very 
little run-to-run consistency out there. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so this afternoon. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.